analysis of the market today. I think the banks probably should are probably gonna move higher. XLF is pretty high right now. The financial sector, futures, ETFs. Uh, let's see. It, need, it needs to keep uh, it, it keeps like 50 million being traded and then trade sideways more. But there's a lot of accumulation in here, so I'm expecting a breakout. It breaks these levels, but it needs also the volume. So probably 70 million. Then it'll probably hit like 1750 or more around there. And then after that, it's probably going to pull back. Pull back around 1650 and pull back the next day. So it's the same chart pattern right here. History repeats itself. That's stocks. Watching Bank of America right here. Uh, let's see. Um, I'm expecting it to go lower. If it gets like 300 million and it breaks these levels, it's going to go more red back to 10 to 1050, 1075. So I think this area, this area, the 1050s, this is going to be the pullback area. But if it does that, the market's going to go more red because Apple is pretty red. Apple, I don't know what happened to Apple, man. It used to be like a parabolic thing. Look, it used to be so parabolic. It used to be so parabolic. What the heck happened? It died. So parabolic. It died. It's like trying to keep these levels right here. But right now, there's a lot of people bag holding this. Bag holding Apple. Yeah, I think, uh, yeah, unless you create an iCar and everyone buys an iCar, then, yeah, this thing's gonna go rip somewhere. Uh, let's check out, uh, Investor's Hub. Where all the cool cats, you know, chill at. The most traded stocks are General Electric, Morgan Stanley, it's doing pretty well, 7%. Of all markets going more red, I mean green. Because I'm expecting SPY to probably hit 150. And it hits, when it hits 150, it's going to pull back. I'm expecting it's going to hit 150 sometime next week or this month. If it doesn't, then it has to break these levels of one, I say, 146.61. Yeah, it has to break 145. And then we'll be in a like a uh, more puts kind of thing. So I'll just go short of the market. But right now it's pretty positive because uh, they want America to so call get out of the recession. Wink, wink, wink. And yeah, whatever the government policies are, it's like that's what we gotta watch the news. And uh, anyways, happy trading, and I hope you learned something from this video.